Airdrops are one of the craziest things about the crypto space. You know, imagine just waking up and finding free cryptocurrency in your wallet just for being a new adopter of early technology. We've seen a ton of projects in the space do retroactive airdrops like Uniswap, One Inch Exchange, and ENS where many users have gotten $10,000 or more for free just for using these applications before other people. You know, I've been the recipient of many of these airdrops myself. There's always a question of, hey, who's going to be next? And in this video, I'm going to talk about a big airdrop that is a massive game changer for this entire space that just happened, and also how you can potentially get more from this airdrop in the future. And how this is a game changer for the entire space because this is a brand new playbook that I think we're going to see roll out for lots of other projects to do the same thing. Because if you want to get in on these airdrops, you have to taste two steps ahead of where everything is headed. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach you how to do in this video as a multi-time airdrop recipient myself. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step, start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's talk about this airdrop that is a massive game changer for the entire space. So it's the Optimism airdrop. So what is that? Optimism is a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. Basically, this is where you create a second environment where you can do transactions that settle back on the Ethereum chain itself, where the transaction fees are paid in Ether. Okay, so Optimism actually announced that, um, you know, they are going to release a token for their Optimism Collective, which is the uh, body that they're going to use to govern their protocol. And what they're doing is they're retroactively rewarding users who have used Optimism prior to a certain date and done several different types of things. So you can already see if you are uh, eligible for this by going to the Optimism website, go to app.optimism.io.governance, and then scroll down, connect your wallet, and you'll see your eligibility criteria here. So I just connected with a random address here. So this particular address that I have in my account is not eligible, but if you were... Uh, you can see what it is here. Optimism user, before a certain period of time, you can hover over and see the criteria. Repeat optimism user, DAO voter, et cetera, et cetera. And so now, I've been talking about this for a long time on my channel. In fact, I made a video last year talking about optimism and how they could be, you know, a uh, potential candidate for an airdrop, right? I showed you like step by step how to bridge over to optimism, start making transactions on top of it. And if you've followed that video and done it multiple times, then you would be eligible for this right here. So definitely go check to see if you are. Now, if you're not eligible, there's still hope, okay? Because one really unique thing about the Optimism airdrop is that uh, there's going to be more. So this is going to be different from the Uniswap airdrop or the One Inch Exchange or ENS, whatever, where essentially they just took a snapshot of people who'd used the app before a certain date and then said, here you go, here's all your tokens, and then we're never going to give any more tokens away. So the airdrop for Optimism is actually going to be something that's going to have more tokens distributed in the future. So you can even see that here on the Optimism Twitter. You can see all the details. Basically, they're saying uh, the airdrop is going to happen soon. So it, it's not live yet. The time recording this video, you can just check your eligibility. So anything that claims to be an Optimism token is a scam. Okay, so don't don't follow that. Here's the eligibility requirements. But here's a really important part, which is uh, in the meantime, you know, even if you if you didn't get this airdrop, there's going to be more coming, okay? So uh, you don't exactly know how you're going to be eligible for that, but the big thing here is that if you go ahead and bridge over to ETH, your ETH or whatever asset over to Optimism and start making some transactions, then you can increase the likelihood uh, that you're going to be eligible for this. Now, that's one reason that this airdrop is such a massive game changer, is because it's not just a one-and-done style airdrop, it's something that's actually going to you know, make a big shockwave by airdropping a lot of money to initial set of users and then enticing users to start using that network so they can, you know, uh, anybody who missed out can, you know, become eligible for that and that can really help bootstrap these ecosystems as well. And so the reason that's a big game changer is because they're probably not going to be the last layer two scaling solution that does this or network that does this or application that does this, okay? So um, it's really changing the game for people like you and I who want to use applications and potentially get these airdrops is it's you can start to see applications that don't have tokens yet. Well, that's probably what you want to use because they're probably going to start airdropping tokens like this and also gives you this bonus of applications that have already done airdrops that are going to do more in the future. They've already said they're going to do it. So that's a really easy play for you as well. OK, so now I'm going to show you on my screen how to bridge over to Optimism and how to use it so that you could potentially be eligible for one of these in the future. Okay, so I actually recorded this video initially 
while I was still speculating about the Optimism airdrop, I literally recorded this like the day before the airdrop happened. And so I had to just completely scrap it, go back to the drawing board. So I'm gonna give you that original screencast. It's the exact same. You might hear me about speculating about an Optimism token inside there if we don't edit that part out. That's because I recorded it before there actually was an Optimism token, but I've re-recorded the beginning of this video to talk about it and this is still really useful. So let's jump in and show you how to use it so you can position yourself for any future rewards. All right, so let's look at how to bridge over to Optimism and start using some of the applications on the ecosystem. So the first thing you definitely need is a MetaMask wallet, okay, with some Ether inside of it. All right, that's what I'm going to use to bridge over to Optimism. It's the easiest thing to do. And then we can swap this Ether for whatever assets we want to, okay. And when you're preparing your wallet for this, of course, you always want to do this, uh, you know, with money that you can afford to lose. So I, I highly recommend just doing this with a very experimental amount of money, like the minimum amount that you need to see how this works. Uh, because you want to do things like be able to get onto the... Uh, network and then also withdraw your funds because the last thing you want to do is take a large amount of money and then you know get stuck in something that you can't get it out of or have to wait or like that okay so make sure you watch this entire uh you know demo before you decide to do something like this but i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how it works now so um you can see optimism.io is the website here and they've got several pieces of uh you know helpful information like the developer docs how to get to the bridge and also the ecosystem so first of all let's look at the ecosystem because this is going to show you different applications that you can use on Optimism, uh, like Lyra Finance, Synthetics, uh, a lot more Uniswap, One Inch, right? The list just goes on and on. They show different uh, uh, exchanges that support Optimism withdrawals, like uh, there's, there's several inside of here, okay? Um, you can browse through this list of some ideas of applications that you could use that could, you know, have potential airdrops in the future. Um, but for now, we're just going to focus on Uniswap because that's the easiest one for most people to understand the basic functionality of it. It's the easiest one to get started using today. Of course, Uniswap's already done their airdrops. So I don't think that they're going to be like a contender for a future airdrop from Optimism or anything like that. But we're just going to show how to do that uh, for, for example, purposes today. So in order to get over to Optimism, we're going to use the bridge. So you can click on this bridge link. All right. It'll take you to this page here. Welcome to Optimism Bridge. Um, you know, basically, you just have to accept the terms and conditions. If you want to see the documentation on how everything works, you can do that. But what we're going to do is just take ETH and bridge it directly from the Ethereum mainnet uh, to the Optimism network. So you have to connect your wallet. Okay, you'll see this uh, pop-up happen here. I'm going to just do mine off screen, connect the account. All right, click connect, and then boom, there we go. I am now connected. And you can see your wallet connected here, and you can see the amount of ETH that you have and the amount that you want to deposit Optimism. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deposit zero, let's see here, 0 0.02. Okay, I'm going to click deposit. And then I'm going to sign the transaction here and click confirm. And there we go. So the deposit will be en route to Optimism. All right. Now the Optimism gateway, uh, you know, advertises that it could take up to 20 minutes to bridge over to the other network. Okay. So it probably won't take that long, but I'm going to show you how to uh, basically confirm when your funds have been deposited. Okay. So you can basically check your address on uh, optimistic.etherscan.io and just look at the current balance to see if the funds that you expected to bridge over had actually bridged over. Okay. And you'll see, um, you know, your balance change here and any uh, corresponding transactions um, that, you know, should appear in your account once that bridge transfer has completed. And you can also check your MetaMask wallet to ensure that your balance is correct. But in order to do that, um, you have to essentially add Optimism to your MetaMask wallet. Okay, so like if you go here and you look at the list of supported networks, uh, you know, you're going to see like Ethereum mainnet and price mother test networks. But you need to add a new network uh, manually because Optimism does not come with MetaMask out of the box. And then enter in these uh, settings right here. Basically, you can call Optimism Ethereum for the RPC, RPC URL. You want to say mainnet.optimism.io. That goes here. Okay. And then uh, chain ID is 10. Okay. That goes here. Uh, currency symbol is ETH, ETH. And block explorer URL is optional, but you can use that HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash optimistic.etherscan.io which is, you know, this website here, which is where you'll see the transaction links whenever you get confirmations and things like that. All right, whenever you've added it, you can just select your new network here. 
and uh, you know, you'll look like this. So my deposit is not quite finished yet, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait, and whenever I'm done, uh, it'll show right here. All right, so now my funds have arrived. You can see my MetaMask wallet here. So that's the important part of having your, uh, you know, optimism settings. So you can quickly see it in MetaMask. You can also see it, uh, you know, in the optimistic Ethereum Explorer. You can see the balance change reflected here. Okay. So, uh, so just a few minutes later here. Now let's talk about how to actually use an application on Optimism. All right, so what I'm going to do is just use Uniswap, like I was saying before. It's one of the most straightforward applications to use. Um, the use case is pretty simple. Again, I, I don't anticipate Uniswap having any kind of airdrop on Optimism necessarily, since they've already done their retroactive airdrop for the initial Uni token. But uh, you know, this will give you an idea of, of just how to use an app. So anyways, I'm going to click Launch App. And uh, basically, you'll see that the Optimism network is automatically detected uh, from MetaMask, and your wallet is pulled up here, and you have your wallet balance. That's if you have connected to MetaMask before. If you've never connected your MetaMask to uh, the Uniswap app, it'll probably have some sort of pop-up that says, hey, connect wallet. You're going to click that. You're going to make sure you connect the appropriate wallet that you have Optimism funds here. You'll be able to see the confirmation uh, right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just, like, swap a dollar. Okay, so I'm going to click... Uh, a token here. I'm going to say USDC and just say we want, you know, one USDC. Okay. So if it's the best price here, we'll just click swap. All right. We'll click confirm swap. We'll see the transaction confirmation pop up here. Okay. And then we will, uh, you know, just click confirm. And there we go. Success. We can actually view an optimistic Ethereum Explorer. Click refresh, and our transaction's basically confirmed instantly. And so there you go. I mean, that's how easy it is to use an application on top of, uh, you know, Optimism. It works just like, you know, any other blockchain application. You just, you know, point your... You have to get the funds onto that network, and then you just point your MetaMask to that network and you use the app, you know, in that network's mode compared to the main Ethereum network or Polygon or Arbitrum, whatever network they happen to support. Now, again... I just use Uniswap as an example. Um, you know, the whole goal of this is, you know, if Optimism ends up doing some sort of airdrop, then, you know, you're able to uh, kind of position yourself for that particular thing if they reward people who have made transactions. Now, we don't exactly know how they're going to do an airdrop or even if they're going to in the first place or whether it's just going to be for validators, whatever, right? Um, but the whole idea is, you know, potentially getting some sort of optimism airdrop. Now, the, it could be bonus that there could be applications on here that do airdrops themselves. Again, I don't think Uniswap is going to be one. But if you just want to make some more transactions on uh, optimism to either get experience or, you know, position yourself for any other potential uh, airdrops, you can just literally work your way through this list and, uh, you know, look at the applications and do really what I just did, like figure out what the basic, um, you know, functionality of the application is and then just use it. All right. So, you know, example... Like one inch exchanges on here is the same thing. It's like a swap. So whatever the basic functionality of the app is, just perform that thing. And the good news about once you're on Optimism is you can use stuff for pretty cheap. Now, getting on and getting off is not the cheapest thing in the world. And we saw how to get on. The last thing I want to talk about is, you know, how to get off. So basically, you just want to go back to the bridge. And then uh, once you're on, uh, you know, the Optimism network, you can see your wallet connected here. You want to just click the withdraw tab. Okay. And you can do a couple things. If you can use the official bridge and use the exact same steps, you know, from Optimism to ETH, just enter in the amount that you want to, you know, 0 0.015 or something like that, right? Whatever amount that you want to. Uh, but you might see that it says it takes seven days for tokens. All right. Now, part of that's how, um, you know, uh, the optimistic protocol works. Uh, which is kind of one of the trade-offs that happens with this particular scaling solution. Uh, or you can use a third-party bridge, which can make it happen a lot faster. You take un usually under 20 minutes. Now, you have to understand that there are trust assumptions involved with those third-party bridges. Uh, it's not directly using the Optimism official bridge, okay? So there's other trade-offs there, centralization risk. Uh, so that's why I definitely recommend... Basically, doing this with a small amount of money just in case something happens in any of these situations. Okay. And that's why I said also watch this entire presentation before you go try to attempt this because. 
this is the step at which uh, you want to choose which option is the best for you and then go through the steps. So I'm not going to demo exactly how to do this. Okay, I'm going to leave that to you as an exercise. Um, but you can, you know, use any of these for a faster withdrawal or you can use this for the official uh, seven day withdraw if you want to be a little bit safer. All right, so that's an overview on the Optimism Airdrop, why it's such a massive game changer. Again, uh, the playbook here is to go use stuff before they announce they're going to do an airdrop and then, you know, increase the likelihood that you're going to be eligible for that. But then, you know, these um, airdrops that say they're going to do more in the future, definitely keep participating on those. And, you know, it's not too late to potentially get in on the Optimism uh, you know, future prospects. And this is how you do it by doing exactly what I showed you in this video. So I hope you like this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so they won't be learn about blockchain. And if you're as fast at this technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty. How can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those, you might take the next step. Or hey, maybe you'll take a master's shortcut entirely. I should become a blockchain master step-by-step start to finish over at dappyuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You'd have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.